How to add product categories on Shopify. My name is Kraus and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you everything needed to successfully add product categories on your store so that your customers actually can more easily check out and so that your conversion rates essentially are going to improve. So to get started, you do want to head over to the Shopify dashboard right here. And um, now this is going to be super straightforward. We are going to get started by adding a page for our product category. So in this case, we will just have to head over to online store and then do pages right here on the left. Okay, then right here, we will have to add a new page and depending on the product category, we will actually have to set a title. So I'm just going to name this um, clothing. And then I'm going to actually leave the content blank for now. And now I'm just simply going to save this, okay? Now we will have to repeat this process for all of our different product categories. So in my case, I'm then just going to add a furniture um, category right here. Once again, content I'm going to leave blank. Um, now I'm going to simply just duplicate this, or actually I'm just going to add a third category, which would then be, I don't know, uh, let's just say beauty right here. Uh, and basically um, we can actually also create subcategories, which I'm going to show you how to set up later on. But if you, for example, do want to create a subcategory for the clothing category right here, then you could, for example, name this, um, let's, let's just name this tops. And then this will actually also be displayed. I will show you how to properly set this up later on. Okay, so now we have created our pages. However, we're certainly not done yet. We now need to actually assign all of the different products to these pages, which we can do the following. Now, basically, um, Oh, this isn't necessary, but first of all, I would actually recommend you to head over to your products tab right here and to then create different kind of collections for your product, depending on the product category, okay? Now, this is going to make a lot more sense later on, but basically, this is just for simplicity sakes uh, and just so that your store is essentially more organized. So, in this case, I'm just going to select this. I'm going to click on the three dots right here. Uh, and then, as you can see right here, we can select Add to Collect. Now, as you can see, I don't have a furniture collection added yet. So I'm just going to click on collections right here on the left, going to create a new collection. I'm going to call this furniture. Perfect. Just going to save this. This is super straightforward. And then as for the other collection, as you can see, uh, I already have a clothing so collection right here, as well as a clothing tops collection. But just for the sake of this video, I'm actually just going to delete these right now so that you're going to get a better insight. So I'm just going to make a new collection uh, with clothing, just going to save this. And then I'm going to also create a new collection called tops because once again i will later on show you how to actually uh, subcategorize your products okay so now we do have these three collections added perfect now we actually do need to add products to these which we can do the following you will just have to add over to your product section right here on the left and then you will have to select all of the different products that you want to add to the collection so in this case i'm just going to select the couch collection and i'm then going to click on the more actions tab right here and i'm then going to click on add to collection to add this to the furniture collection Okay, then I'm going to save this. Now I'm going to select hoodies, joggers, as well as this short sleeve t-shirt right here. And I'm going to simply just repeat this process by adding this to the normal clothing collection right here. Okay, once again, I'm going to save this. However, if you do remember correctly, we actually also set up a tops collection for our clothing collection. So in this case, I'm just going to select the hoodies and the short sleeve t-shirt right here. And I'm once again going to add this to the collection, in this case, tops, okay? So now that we have saved this, we can actually go ahead and show this in our online store. To do so, we will have to head over to our online store section on the left. And then you will have to actually select the theme that you want to add these collections to, or basically these categories to. Now, in my case, I'm going to use the DOM theme for this. However, no worries, guys, this is going to work the same for all of the different themes out there. I personally just prefer the DOM theme. Either way, make sure to just click on customize right here. 
So as you can see, this is my homepage. We, for example, added a custom font in another video. Uh, and as you can see right here, this is also a preview of my free Shopify course, which you can by the way get with the link down below. But either way, I assume most of you are already familiar with the Shopify homepage. Basically, this is going to work the following. Um, you are going to basically have to select different kind of elements right here. And then on the left, you're going to see a general overview of uh, your website. On the top right, you can change the view of your website. And then you can also basically edit all of the elements on the right once you've selected them. Now to actually show our categories, we will have to go ahead and change the page that we are going to edit. So in this case, I'm just going to select this icon right here on top. And then we do need to find the category page that we have created. So in this case, we are going to select default page right here. Uh, and as you can see, now we will actually need to change this to clothing. Okay, and now this is really important. You do actually want to create a template right here, which we're then going to name clothing. So this is just uh, so that you can actually edit this solely for the clothing page. So we are just going to name this clothing right here. Now to actually show our clothing products on here, we will simply just have to click on add, se uh, add section right here on the left, sorry. And then you will have to click on featured collection. Right here on the right, you will then have to set, set the correct collection. In this case, this would be the clothing collection. And as you can see, now our clothing collection is going to be correctly displayed. Okay, so we can now actually go ahead. Uh, you can basically further customize this if you want to. However, I will simply just now repeat this process with our tops collection. So once again, the setup is going to be the same. You will just have to click on create template. Then we are going to name this tops. And then we can actually base this off the, uh, actually we can just base this off the default page. Click on create template. Now we do have this sample page. I will quickly change the preview to tops. This is going to look something like this now. And now we once again need to add a section. And right here we do need to then add the featured collection section. We can set the collection to tops right here. And now only our tops show up. So let me now actually show you how to display this right here on top of the navigation bar so that your product categories are actually visible. To do so, you will have to opt out of this and then you will have to click on navigation right here on the left. So right here, you will then just have to click on main menu and then add a new menu item. As for the name, we will just have to name this product categories. Right here, as for this link, we can just select collections right here. I'm just going to select all collections, okay? Now we do need to add a new menu item. In this case, I'm just going to add the pages and then I'm going to add the clothing page. And now we can just leave this at the default name, clothing. And now this is really important. We actually do want to drag the clothing item uh, basically right under the product category and then to the right so that this will actually show uh, basically underneath the product category. Now we are going to repeat this process by adding our, uh, let's actually add our furniture, um, furniture thing, which we haven't actually set up because I don't want to waste your time. But basically now furniture will also show up under product categories. Then we can basically also add the other menu item. So for example, let's now uh, actually show our tops collection. So in this case, I'm just going to select tops right here. And now we actually do want to show this underneath the clothing collection right here. So to do so, we will once again just have to drag this under clothing, then to the right. And now this is going to show up like this. Now, um, if we're now going to look at look at our store, this is going to show up. However, this isn't going to be correctly set up because if we, for example, are going to click on tops right here, as you can see, nothing is going to show up. This is because we actually haven't aligned the page yet. So to actually change this, you will have to click on pages right here, then select, for example, tops in this case and change the theme template on the right. So in this case, we will have to change the theme template to tops. We can then actually also repeat this process uh, for, for example, the clothing uh, thing right here. We are just going to change this to clothing. And when we are now going to preview our store, we can see the product categories right here. We can then see tops. We can see the top section. We can also see the fur actually furniture we haven't set up yet. But either way, you're getting how this is going to work. We all know that starting a successful Shopify store can be super hard. That's why I'm right now giving out my Shopify course for completely free. Now you're going to learn everything needed to actually streamline your Shopify success in that exact course. So make sure to click on the link down below to get started.